So the monsters are definitely get strong, st getting stronger as Hoots is leveling up. So the quicker we find out what's up with this magic wand, the better. Here, we'll let Hoots have that skull. Excellent. Can Hoots get this guy too? And the ship vanishes. Alright, ship, please. Please. I need pirates in my face. Thank you. Thank you so much. Actually, we might have business in Moonglow. It might behoove us to go fill back up on some regents. And Moonglow has a shop where I can do that. I wonder how many ships you can have. I had thought that you could only have one ship at a time, but no, it remembers what ships you have on the map. It must be Exodus where you can only have one ship at one time, but I don't think it'll let you have infinite ships. I think it will eventually start cleaning up your ships. I wonder if the other side of the island then just has the dungeon. No, because the dungeon would be Death Star, which we've cleared already. Three cycles. That's, thou hast now achieved partial avatarhood in the virtue of valor. Beautiful. What are those weird dots? We have weird dots. You gotta love weird dots. Uh, see, there's something strange, like, just on the other side of these mountains here. I'm willing to go check. Okay, just nothing. Uh... So, I guess we're going to go back to Moonglow, then. And restock Regents. Uh, also, Moonglow... We can check up on... Well, you know what? Let's... Hold on, let me shift gears. In terms of... What we can cross off our list here... Uh, speak to the prisoner Vorpal. That's up in you. We can look for Anton in the castles. We do need to go back and get Julius at some point. I'm not paying attention to which monsters are reflecting. Either. All of them. Excellent. Reflect is apparently the most annoying spell in the game. Who knew? Then there's the other two virtue villages that we haven't visited yet. The ruins of Magincia and Scarabray. So maybe you can be our next stop. I'm not sure if there's a reagent seller in you, but we haven't been up that way in a minute. Can I get there from here, from Moongate? We can balloon up there. And then while we're there, we can also check the uh, the castle, now that we have the key. Let me look at my Moongate map here. I can get from you to Jellum, but not from Jellum to you. Okay. Which way are we floating? This is the wrong way. I need to go... We need to get a north wind going. Because we're way down in the corner of the map, we're going to wrap around this Taurus-shaped world, because the north and south meet up and the east and west meet up. No, no, we're still 
We weren't done. That's West. Uh, that's the wrong wind. D-pad, why do you do, do me like this? What have I done to deserve that? Okay, now we'll get a west wind going. Now that we're over the great forest here. Is that the... Let me look at my map here. Yeah, I think we're good. I think that's... That should be the moon gate right there. Yep, there's you. We have a key now. So we should be able to get into all the dungeons. Starting with the poor beggar. I repent! I repent! Wilt thou help me resume my life? Yes. Uh, give him 50. My thanks. Alright, well, I helped. <laughs> okay. Downstairs in the jail. I'm Vorpal, a man who walked the wrong path. I now reflect upon justice and its room, which is within this jail. Uh, I'm gonna bet it's in the other cell, though, because why would they lock up... A hardened killer. What if he's not? Like, what if he was just jaywalking or something, right? It's not in this cell, is it? It's, it's totally going to be in the other cell. And I will have just wasted time searching 16 squares. But it's the sunk cost fallacy, because I, I searched the first eight in the... Pr uh, in the process of coming to that realization. And then if I don't search the other eights... Eight is an important number. That's how many Koopa Kids there are. That's how many planets we have. Alright. I took a guess. But no, they totally did just lock him up with the Rune of Justice. The Rune of Justice. My rune list is looking pretty sexy. So what rune am I missing? Uh, which one? Uh, spirituality is the rune that I'm missing. Okay. I don't think there was much else I wanted to do here. Unless there's a region vendor. Oh, here's another beggar. I will spare 50 coins, or maybe only one, like, one coin that is of denomination 50, I suppose. Is there a reason for us to be back here? No, we found this back door previously. <laughs> What's your deal, buddy? Yeah, give some lifeblood, why not? And then this must be an inn. It is. Uh, I'm just going to fill my health back up real quick. Then I think I hop in the balloon and fly over to Minoc next. Maybe there's some areas we can use a key in Minoc that might be helpful. But one way or the other, we can recruit Julius. Uh, no, while we're here, before... You know, we can do this on the way, because we can go around the world the other direction. We blow an east wind. Yeah, there's the castle. So we'll blow a north wind here. And realize we're just burning through... Regents. <laughs> I think it's garlic and moss we're using up. Okay, you're not Brother Anton, are you? Or Antos, or whoever it's supposed to be. They have the exotic... I think they said they had the exotic armor here. Uh, Marina Mandraka, our good friend. Another healer. I'll 
do it. Have some lifeblood. So our sacrifice should be doing leaps and bounds here. Have we spoken to the Ankh? Yeah. But because that exotic armor is free, once we come here, this is why I'm not looking to buy more armor with our money, currently. The four virtues which are derived from love are compassion, justice, sacrifice, and spirituality. Use only these stones in the altar room of love. That makes sense. Oh, are you going to change my music to the cool music? I consider love in the light of compassion. When the three combine in eight ways, love alone is compassion. So what he's saying is that compassion as a virtue is made up only of the principle of love. I ponder love in the light of justice. When the three build the eight, truth tempered by love becomes justice. Justice is the love of truth. Is it not beautiful? Oh, it's very beautiful indeed. I reflect upon love's part in spirituality. What I practice is not a religion, but a way to strengthen my own inner self through the understanding of love, truth, and courage. So this is the man, they're just basically telling us what principles, what the principle of love filters into. I contemplate love's part in sacrifice. When love leads to courage to face even death for another's sake, sacrifice is shown. So the Bards of Britain value compassion, which is love. The Druids of you value honor, which is love. The Rangers of Scarabray, which we haven't been to yet, uh, value love's role in spirituality, and then the Tinkers of Minoc value sacrifice, which is love and courage. Are we saying anything different? I'm one-eighth of an avatar now. Looks like not. This was just a treasure room, I believe? Yeah. Making sure there's no notched walls up there. And is that it for this place? Looks like there should be a way around the back here, right? Yeah, like there's a room back there. How do we get into it? Or was that the treasure room? That's the treasure room. Yes, yes, that's the treasure room. We don't. There's not a room back there. So yeah, I guess we're done here until we can take the exotic armor from Empath Abbey. So let's hop back in our balloon and hope that we're sailing west. That is not west. Okay, so we're up at the northwestern edge of the world here. We're going to wrap back around to the northeastern edge. Crossing the island where we went into the Dungeon of Deceits, which should be this. We weren't done yet. Bring me back that good, good east wind. There we go. Uh, so we're north of Vesper now. In fact, I'm going to land here. Oh, there's no Regents in Vesper. Never mind. I thought... I was going to say, let's hit the Regent Vendor in Vesper real quick, but there is no Regent Vendor in Vesper. There's a strange, conspicuous block of swamp there that I'm sure is not going to be useful in any capacity ever. And then up here, we take this east wind again. And we have arrived at Minoc. Hey, look, there's the dungeon. Interesting. Give us a south wind, YOLO. That must be the dungeon covetous. How are my herbs doing? Mm, garlic's running low. Does enter what does any of the spells I'm using frequently use garlic? I mean, wind must. Energy, there it is. Ash, silk web, and pearl. 
give him to the beggar. Which one of you identical looking gentlemen is Julius? Oh, it's you. Think of the good we can do together. Yes, my friend, what are you carrying? A club and some leather. No regent vendor here, but yeah, there's Zircon the Smith. And there's no locked doors here. Uh, we're going to try... We're going to talk to some of these NPCs. Yeah, we're going to get that... You know what? We can probably get that orange stone right now, can't we? Julius, would you like to go on one adventure? Before we drop you off in Lord British's castle for all the rest of eternity? What is my gold situation looking like? 3,200. What is my gem situation looking like? 13. So there's eight floors of the dungeon, so as long as it's not like a super confusing dungeon, we should be okay. I need to go south. That's the wrong way. Right, let's get a north wind. And we want to get an east wind there. And land there. Oh! I missed it by one. No, it's fine. Wait, Julius can cast? No, not enough MP. Okay, West Wind. Yeah. Can't land here. Oh, I guess I can't land on the, the, the rough terrain. Well, okay, we can... Uh, we're gonna have to do some sailing then. To Dungeon Covetous. Come all the way down to here. Uh, from the west. Thank you. We'll just land here. And wait for a ship. Shouldn't take too much longer. Julius can be of use to us in combats like this, where the monsters are going to roll up, roll up. I wonder if I prioritized going to the other villages. If I could start getting my Tremor spell underway. But I already didn't do that. We're going to win every dungeon in the game. With slings and bows. And it's going to be fantastic. See, Julia's got 16 health. He's fine. And here's a boat. So we're going to say goodbye to our balloon here. And Julius probably is not going to get any experience in this fight. We'll just auto him and see if he is smart enough to move up. We could go over to Vesper and spend all of our money on... A new bow, and then I think Julius can use one of their old bows, but... Nah. He's a big boy. He don't need no man. Also, I feel like he's only level two. <laughs> All right. Say farewell to the balloon, just for a while. When we need it, though, we don't have to remember where it is. It should always be at the dungeon heath block when we go back there. Sail around the peninsula here. Alright, we want to go up 
this direction? No, not quite. We need to come down and around, it looks like. We'll see if Julius uh, will throw himself into the sea. Actually, I should switch Julius and Yolo's position in the party, so Yolo is further away from enemies and Julius has a shorter distance to walk. Oh, you can see that he was not smart enough to even step towards the monsters this time. Don't worry, Julius, if you die, we do know the life spell. I don't think we can actually cast it, because we don't have the herbs for it, but I do know it. So you got that going for you, my friend. Oh, I don't want to fight more pirates. And yet... All right, Julius, move up the center. Uh, no, Hoops, take the captain out. I feel like the captain must be worth the most for what it's worth. Or the captain will take himself out when he takes a step on my lava field. Nope, got him. Delectable. I don't know what happened to their ship, though. It just vanished. Alright, so we should be sailing up into the bay here. This path... No. Hmm. Look at my world map. What's the uh, situation here? Can I use a gem out here? I can. Oh, no, I'm way too far away. Look at that. I'm all the way... Hmm. Well, the world map looks pretty nice from here. And you can see there's the inland sea, but we can't sail to the largest inland lake from the ocean. And there's some islands out there. You can see the, the islands in the very, very south, that weird landmass. We floated over that with the balloon earlier. Uh, no, I need to go back. How did I miss this? Oh, we have four characters in the party now, so it's, every battle is going to be tons of enemies. No, you know what? I've changed my mind. We're not... <laughs> we're not taking Julius into a dungeon. Uh, this is going to turn every fight into a slog like this. I didn't see a place to sail north into the bay, though. It's going to be a minor puzzle just figuring out how to get into... The Dungeon Covetous, isn't it? The name Covetous kind of sounds like it's going to have a bunch of gold in it, but I guess we'll find out. You know what? I lied to you again. We are taking Julius. Come on, my dude. I got you, fam. Okay, so I think I know where I am looking at my world map. I think I'm understanding. So there's a little river there, yes? Yeah, I, I see that. So the bay should be right up here. Where I got into the balloon. Or did I get into the balloon on the other side of the bay is what happened. Julius, use this oil that we've been carrying forever. Wow. <laughs> Nine points of damage. How about that? I think we'll probably scrape through Dungeon Covetous just fine. Maybe, because most of the enemies we fight in dungeons are in the rooms that we enter, in the battle rooms, but... Uh, those rooms, I believe, have fixed numbers of enemies. It's only the random encounters. Ooh, 
where I think they roll a number of enemies based on how many people are in your party. Julius just wandering the ship, like, dude, just go below decks and uh, cook us up something nice, you know? Why don't you tinker us up some sandwiches or something? I mean, he's bald, so we can just rub his head for luck. Do you guys do that to your bald friends, rub their head for luck? They love it. Bald people love it. This is the bay here. I thought I was on the other side of this bay. Wait, is it? That can't be right. It is right. This is the this is the bay we were looking for. No, it's not either. Oh no. No, I see what the problem here is. Okay, no, no, no. I figured it out. I figured it out. We don't want to be on the south edge of the continent. We need to circle around the north. I thought we were going to sail up river from the south and find the dungeon that way, but no, I think you come down around from the north. At the very beginning of my YouTube channel, back in 1964... We played a game that mixed up East and West, and we spent four videos trying to figure out what the problem was. And now I had, finally, 76 years later, I've had the same problem with North and South. Don't worry, Julius, we're gonna get that orange stone, my dude. We're gonna rock it. You can get a rocket in some Ultima games. So we're going to cross the continent here. And wait for another boat. Here's one. No, don't auto with YOLO. Fire at the pirates. So many pirates. Uh, what's Julius going to do? He's just going to move towards this rock. He's going to go have a conversation with that rock. We're just going to let him do what he needs to do there. Well, YOLO and Jana mop up the pirates like they always do. So yeah, we do get more experience this way, but... It's spread out over more characters. So it probably evens out in the wash. If that makes sense. I got like minotaurs or something here. Maybe the game should have done something like to open the way to the altar room at the bottom of the dungeon. You have to like unlock a door from the dungeon side or something first. Because finding the dungeons on the overworld map is a non-trivial exercise. And it's pretty... I mean, I'm enjoying it. I don't know if you guys are enjoying watching it. So yeah, we want to come around the north edge here. There's the Minoc Moon Gate. So Minoc must be right in here. Shoutouts to Sarutka for sponsoring this video. If you liked the video and you want to see more, please tickle my thumb, leave a friendly comment, and ring my little bell.